As surely as the river flows, you will pay for your crime. Did you come here for crafting certification? Where's that help I was promised? I can't deal with this on my own. Comrade, we have need of you. Will you fight by our side? The Guild has accepted an unusual contract. We've agreed to eradicate Daedric anchors when they drop from the sky. Wherever they appear, Molag Bal's minions soon follow. As we speak, two of my guardians investigate rumored anchor sites. Merrick and Aleph are the best the guild has to offer. Meet up with them on the beach east of Volkogard. You can proceed from there. I know you'll change the river's course, comrade. They're investigating the coastline down the beach from the Guard Lighthouse. A powerful benefactor. She hates that monsters can ruin the lives of everyday folk. Our benefactor has put gold behind her principles, and so we put our strength behind her cause. The size of the task. Our benefactor has asked we call in every guildmate from the lowest associate on up. Every member of the Fighters Guild has been tasked with ending this Daedric corruption. They are the tendrils of Cold Harbor, reaching into Nern. The minions of Molag Bal erect dark shrines in his honor, landing sites for these horrors. The coin this contract brings is good, and in this time of trouble, we need a focus. Yes, I am new to my role as Guildmaster. The death of my mentor, Njofnir Iceblade, has been hard on the Guild. He was well liked among the rank and file. I hope the river has carried his soul where it wanted to go. He's a proud Redguard warrior, one of our best, and a follower of Stendar. Merrick's full title is Resolute Warhorn. He's sworn to fight the spawn of Oblivion wherever they touch Tamriel. Proof that the Guild accepts all kinds, a Khajiit. She does as much damage with her wicked tongue as with her curved blade. Taciturn, rude sometimes, but a cunning fighter. I know how long I've been looking for you. Thanks, Stendar. You're with the Guild? If the Divines will it. The Worms caught us off guard, but we made them pay in blood. Did Colors brief you on our contract? What we seek? As you say, there won't be an anchor here anytime soon, thanks to the two of us. I should be moving. We had word of another cell north of here near Skywatch. Here, if you please. Aleph, stay with our new friend. You two search these bodies, see if you can find anything of note. A pleasure meeting you, oh my comrade. Watch after the new recruit, Aleph. Colors would hate it if we lost another one. Yes, yes, Aleph will watch the new blood. Hmph. Resolute. You heard Merrick, new blood. Search those bodies. Aleph will check this one. Come on. 
hard soul will fuel the Mortum Vivicus. Nothing you can do can stop Dark it! Dark Morns? What was that? That vision. A Dremora woman talking about Merrick. Why would she want my hapless companion? Aleph has no idea. Whoever she is, she is no friend to the guild or Merrick. It would seem so. This one cannot imagine the value of such a thing. Too shiny and dripping with pride. Just the same, we must warn him. And the guild. Aleph will go after Merrick. Return to seize all colors. Tell her what you have seen. Go. Return to vocal guard quick as you can, comrade. Seize all colors must know. long I've been looking for you. Back so soon, comrade? A vision of a Dramora. This clouds the waters. The forces of Molag Baal must know more than we realized. What did she say? Nor do I, comrade. Interesting. Did she say anything else? Merrick. This dries my scales. Recruit, you must get to them. Aleph and Merrick are competent, but the Daedra are not to be trusted. Find them near Skywatch. I will rally our forces here and investigate this Vivicus, whatever it is. Do you know how long I've been looking for you? Hear now the lesson of the Divine Body. Welcome to the fight, comrade. Claws out and watch yourself. You cannot stand against the might of Moloch Ball. More coming. Brace yourself. Cease your meddling, mortal. The Master has plans for the Red Guard. We're not done with you, You're too late. I found you. The Red Guard is mine. Merrick ran off after some other Daedra. Get after him. Don't let her take him. I think that's the last of them. My master has plans for your pure soul, Merrick. 
You should feel honored. Merrick? Comrade, what happened? Where did you go? Dosha, that such a weakling could take one such as Merrick. How would Alev know? She was behind you. Oh yes, Colors, the heroic guildmaster. <laughs> we don't need to wait for Colors. You and Alev are more than smart enough to figure this out. Here. Give those items you found on the cultists. You didn't recognize her tremorer from her projection? I think her name is Dosha. Quite full of herself, actually. Hmm. This note mentions an island tower. Alef wonders if it speaks of Buranim. It's an old alien ruin. A tower on an island off the coast of Skywatch. Go seek Merrick there. Aleph will find our heroic guildmaster and get additional blades. May good fortune stalk your steps, comrade. Which do you mean? The gear or the relic? Ancient, Dwimmer. Worn in places, this piece was used in one of their constructs. Smells fresh in some ways. Has been away from any ruins for a while. Shame. Might have been able to learn something more. Crude construction. Shaped by small fingers. Female Breton. Perhaps Wood Elf. Colored from clay, this region, so more likely wood elf. Smells burnt of cinders, shaped near a wood fire stove or kiln. Alev makes her way as she can, helps the guild as she can. Just a humble Khajiit, originally from the city of Doon. This one is of little importance. Another distraction.
comrade, to me. Comrade! I am Jofnir Iceblade, former master of the Fighters Guild. Don't interrupt, I cannot speak long. Dosha has taken Merrick beneath the island into the vault. She trains his soul for her master's dark plans. I can't... I can't say. My time grows short. Save Merrick. Stop the Daedra. We're the followers of Moloch Balm. Your soul, Dosha. Don't fail me. She almost had me. Thank you, comrade. Just need a moment to recover. If you hadn't come along... I'll be fine, Stendar willing. I heard her communing with the Lord of Lies. Molog Ball is harvesting souls for some dark plot. He's especially interested in the souls of the faithful. Comrade, grab that book and her notes on the table. I saw her scribbling after speaking to her master. We may be able to learn more about this plot. Learn what this Mortum Vivicus is. Grab them, then let's get out of here. You are the sun on my scales, comrade. You've returned Merrick to us. Molag Bal. May he burn in the glare of a thousand suns. It's just like him to send an assassin to kill a noble warrior. That's a coward's weapon. Sooth, the Mortum... what? And I can't make tales or scales of these scribblings. No matter. It's going to take time to decipher this scrawl. But we'll put our best scribe on it. You've done a great service for the Guild today, comrade. I look forward to drawing steel with you in the future. If we learn anything from the journal, I'll make sure you hear about it. I'll look for you down the river, comrade. You'll hear from us once we've decoded the journal. Of course. After action report, yes? Wise choice. Yafnir? 
His passage down the river called me to this post. What did he say? Interesting. I'll get in touch with some of our sisters in the Mage's Guild. See if they can investigate this apparition. I try to avoid the Walking Dead, when I can. Not long. Aleph told me you found some trinkets with the cultists. Between those baubles and the notes you found, hopefully we'll have a start for the translation effort. Aleph is sure she will see you again, hero. Something tells me we'll see each other again. I look forward to fighting by your side once more. Yes, yes. You sound like my mother, beloved though she is. I shall recover. Rejoice, for someday soon you and I shall again take up arms together. Good to see you again, comrade. You recall our encounter with Dosha, yes? When we found her encoded journal? Yes, we called in several favors to do it, but we've cracked her code. In service to her dark master, Dosha was after something hidden in a dwarven ruin, a place known as Mazenelt. We're not sure, but it seems to have something to do with that Mortum Vivicus her notes mentioned. Mazenelt is far from here, but I've prepared a portal that will carry us across Tanriel. What do you say, comrade? Venture with me into the unknown? I will open the portal. Takes just a moment. Comrade, I'm glad you're going with Guildmaster Seize All Colors. Her passion to discover Dosha's goal is all-consuming. I fear it will cloud her judgment. A Stendar watch over you both. You find me well, Stendar be praised. Dosha's tender ministrations are the worst to befall me in some time. Tender attention and the kindness of my comrades have restored me to health. Seize all colors would be the one to ask about that, oh my comrade. I have seen the journal, but have little idea what it says. Give me a problem I can solve with a stout weapon. Those are the problems I enjoy. 
This one greets your return, comrade. Aleph is well, moons be bright for asking. She worries about the time and money spent on this... quest. We destroy anchors, slaughter Daedra, but what is accomplished? Ask our dear guild master, comrade. She spent many favors and much coin having it translated, and refuses to share the results with Alef. If Alef cannot be trusted, who can? Dosha was no scholar. She did nothing idly. The river has brought us here for a reason. A treasure of some kind. A potent weapon, or an epic spell. Dosha respected only one thing. Power. Whatever it is, we must get it away from here. Dosha knew of this place, and so others do as well. If we don't retrieve whatever it is, others will come. And it must have something to do with that Mortum Vivicus. If Molag Baal plans to unleash that weapon again, we must stop it. The last days of the Dwemer were endless war. Their mages raced to perfect ever more esoteric spells, ever more powerful weapons. Perhaps the origins of the Vivicus stem from that long gone era. A holdfast of the Dwemer, the Dwarves. We're somewhere in Hammerfell, I think, near the South Dragontail Mountains. Or so Dosha's notes say. <laughs> if I did, I'd be the wisest woman in Tamriel, comrade. No, no one knows what made the dwarves disappear. Or at least, no one is saying. Why does the river take us anywhere? The Dwemer built complexes all throughout northern Tamriel. My guess is that we're at this ruin for a treasure of some kind. If just any dwarven ruin would do, there are closer places than Mazenelt. Dosha kidnapped our comrade, Merrick. She intended to harvest his soul for Molag Baal, in service to a plan involving this Mortum Vivicus. And then, of course, you came to his rescue, slew her and stole her journal, which is what led us here. Many things. The journal spoke of this place, but it also spoke of terrible things. Things I wish I could unlearn. Prolonged contact with Molag Baal twisted her mind. What in Nern? The undead are close behind us. We must hide the remains of the weapon. Now! The automatons are still active. We'll die down here. We will see this done. Or Molag Baal's hunters would chew on our bones. Kurano is right. With any luck, the constructs will hold back the dead. Let's move. I still think this plan is madness. Those were ancient ones. Aliads in a Dwemer ruin. What went on here? Dosha was no skull. Dosha with Blades ready, comrade. These constructs know no mercy.
damn it. Corino is dead. The weapon will be lost forever. No, there's still hope. Osterand will have to do it. Oblivion, take you. I can't. We can still succeed. But you'll have to enact the sacrifice, my friend. Without a soul in the crystal, there will be no way to repair the weapon. It must be done, Osteran. A sacrifice? What did they come here to do? The skill it took to craft these constructs. Amazing. Just think what this place must have looked like in the time of the Dwemer. We barely survived the last wave. Balash is injured. We'll never hold against the dead and the constructs. Osterond is right. You need time. I'll lead the dead away, down another branch in the tunnels. Manath, don't. You'll never survive the swarm. If my death buys you the time it needs. For Deladil and Meridia! Giving yourself willingly to the river's current. Noble. More wonders. And a split in the path. Which way shall we go, comrade? Calls remain intact. A moment. This may be crucial. My love, Osterond, if you're going to do it, you have to do it now. I'm dying. I can't. Don't die on me, Balasha. I can't do this. You must, my love. Or Molag Ball has won. It's what she wants, Osterond. This is why we came here. 
do it! Goodbye, my love. My Valasha. Valasha's journal remains. Perhaps it will shed more light on what's going on here. Another journal? Amazing it's still preserved. May I see it? The water begins to clear. Two cities, one warships Meridia, the other Molag Bal. Abagarlis, the city of the dead, creates a relic to strike at the Meridians. Deladil, city of light, creates their own weapon, forged around a heart of crystal. Just so. These ancient ones steal into the heart of the enemy with this crystal weapon. They stop the ritual, and their king ends the dark rule of Abagarlis. But they are hunted. So they try to find a haven, a place to hide the crystal. You have the right of it. They sought to hide their prize, but the priestess of Meridia first gave her life. She relit the crystal heart so that the weapon could one day be forged anew. Yes, comrade. The journals also speak of a tome, instructions for creating the weapon. The crystal heart of the weapon and the means to construct it lie here somewhere in these ruins. Must I can't hold them. You have to go. I'm not leaving you. We died when we agreed to this quest. We just kept walking a while. Hide the crystal. Hide the tome. Go! Such bravery in the face of certain death. The dwarves were quite creative for such a godless race. Perhaps those stands could help us get past the doors?
The dead centurion. A fitting resting place for my Valasha. Crystal is in that steam centurion. We must destroy it. Well done. Now, to leave this place. We've succeeded where that withered root dosha failed, comrade. Here, I will open a portal for us to return. Take the crystal and the tome. Give them to Merrick, and he can begin learning what it will take to forge the weapon. I have something I must attend to, comrade. The knowledge we have gained here has flooded my mind. I must mine the river's course. I'm sure we'll speak again soon. Wait for her to leave. I must speak with you. I'll see you down the river, comrade. Please, speak with me. I have only a moment to talk. You're in danger. Danger I can't fully comprehend. Not even in death. Someone close to you has plans. Plans for both of us. Plans to betray you. I am anchored. Contained. Hold away. Beware, comrade. Welcome back from the depths, comrade. Guildmaster Sees All Colors told me you'd have something for me. Thank you. I'll begin my research straight away. You'll be the first we contact once I know the details. In the meantime, Sees All Colors sends her regrets she couldn't stay. She said she had an urgent matter to attend to.
Good, good. We have much to discuss. Comrade, the river has returned you at the perfect time. We've discovered much since our adventure in Mizenelt. The events of the past continue to stalk us. The visions, my friend. The Aeliads fled from the forces of Molag Bal and hid away the remains of a powerful relic. Merrick has taken the crystal and the tome to an ancient forge. There, he's begun the work of crafting the weapon anew. In time, comrade. First, you and I must travel afield, to the ruined city of Agarlis. It was there the Aeliads went, to stop the Mortum Vivicus. Together we will understand the threat to the present in the events of the past. Comrade, you were the first person I thought of when it came time to explore a musty ruin. That is meant as a compliment. We call it the Earth Forge. Merrick found it on a contract a few years ago. The maintenance constructs had long since shut down. The ruin contains the most unique blacksmithing setup. Even the basest of metals sing in its embrace. In Mizenelt, we saw visions of ancient soldiers, survivors of a strategic attack on a city of darkness. Abagarlis is that city, an ancient stronghold of Molag Bal. I expect we will learn much from those old stones. We call it the Earth Forge. Merrick found it. Welcome to the ruins of Abagarlis, comrade. Ancient home to a foul den of necromancers and Molag Baal worshippers. We are here to relive the past. In Mazenelt, we saw a squad of soldiers on the run for their lives. Here, at Abagarlis, that same group was calm and in control. Together we can see what they saw, and discover what they knew about the Mortum Vivicus. After Mazenelt, I researched a way to take control of the visions we saw. Osterand was the ancient soldier charged with bearing the prismatic weapon into battle. It is through his eyes you will see. And, in turn, I will see through your eyes. The ancient stood against the Vivicus and survived. Now, Molag Bal makes ready to unleash the same relic against Tamriel again. It is my hope the courage of the long dead will save the living of today. Hold still just a moment, comrade. It's up to you, Osterand. You bear the prismatic weapon, and the hopes of everyone in Delodil. Lenath and Kurano will hold the door from this side. Velasha and I from the other. May the sunburst guide your sword arm, my friend. Disturbed. Maintaining the final phase of the Mortum Vivicus requires all of my concentration. The more tomb, Vivacus. Oh no! Master, please! Spare me!
That was Prince Malian, scion of evil King Anumeril. He must have been left behind to defend the Vivicus. Shrine to the Prince of Lies. My stomach turns just to see it. Let's move on. By the light. That must be the Mortum Vivicus. No! My sacred charm! Your life for the... Destroy! My death means nothing. The Master will still destroy. Wait! What? No, my lord. I served you faithfully! I remove the Vivicus to Cold Harbor. This doom will come again to Camriel. Comrade, over here! This is terrible, my friend. Osterand was on the verge of destroying the Vivicus and... nothing. The rapids have grown swift, and we did not even notice. Let me explain. Do you remember the notes you took from Dosha's lair? The ones that spoke of the Vivicus? I had assumed that this relic she spoke of was a legend. Even when I heard the words of Osterand, Endera, and their companions, I thought this was a threat from a time long forgotten. But... Comrade, we just saw it! The Vivicus was never destroyed! You saved Merrick from a worm cult plot to harvest souls, remember? Those souls are fuel for the Vivicus. The intact Mortum Vivicus that Molag Bal has kept hidden all this time, safely tucked away in Cold Harbor. You must go to the Forge. Help Merrick Atiswala restore the prismatic weapon to its full potential. I will do what I can to find where he has hidden the Vivicus. Comrade, I put my faith in you. You must tell the others, warn them. Can I count on you? I would entrust this task to no one else, comrade. You go with the weight of the Guild on your shoulders. Just so, my friend. I believe it to be some kind of relic. A massive spell capable of holding and harnessing the souls of thousands upon thousands of dead. If it had been released, if it is released, the world as we know it will end. You saw through the eyes of Osterand, one of the valiant ancients that fought and died in Mazenalt to safeguard our future. According to what we saw, it was he who slew Queen Palolel and stopped the use of the Mortum Vivicus.
How was your research trip with the Guildmaster, comrade? Truly, what happened? Were the ruins infested with undead? Stendar's wrath would have served you in good stead. Comrade, did you say try? The Vivicus is not some long-destroyed legend. Then, when Dosha took me prisoner, she was to harvest my soul for this abomination? By all the eight! We should be moving. Aleph will await us here. Keep watch for any unfriendly faces. Come, follow me, and try to keep up. I helped to find this place years ago, Stendar's will. Comrade, this news is disquieting. I'm glad you're here with us. I've made preparations to work the prismatic crystal, to reforge the weapon from the time of the ancients. In truth, I thought this weapon would just be a powerful symbol. It seems we have great need of this important relic. Welcome to the Earth Forge. Quite a sight, is it not? Comrade, we must restore this weapon of old. Make ready for any new plots by the Prince of Lies. I feel the strength of Stendar flowing through my arms. Are you prepared? I shall work the anvil. Form the core. You will keep the fire at the proper temperature. Many and many times must the fire be stoked to keep an even flame and flow. Use the bellows here to stoke the flame just a bit. Use the valve to my other side to stoke it yet more. And for a truly fearsome blaze, pour fire salt on the coals. The lever just next to the valve releases pressure from the forge. But do not worry. I'm certain you'll do fine. Are you ready to begin? I wish it were so, but no. You and I are merely forming the core. Whatever weapon we decide to make, the runes and hilt and all of that must wait for another day. This equipment is very old and very delicate. Stend our willing. We must try to get it right the first time. Here are the fire salts. Let's begin. Build me a small fire first, and I shall tell you when you are close. Let the fire loose now. Give it all you can. Give us some more, but not too much. We are not quite there yet. That's the fire I'm looking for. Stand back. I shall prepare the core. Now I'll need a larger fire, comrade. Double the heat of the last one. You're on the right track, but we need more. Much more! Give us some more, but not too much. We are not quite there yet. Ease up now. The fire is very close. Stendar's wrath, that fire is hot. Just a moment, comrade. I'll prepare the core. Now we need an even hotter fire. The largest yet. Twice the size of the last one. Don't be shy now. This fire's barely smoldering. More! More! More heat. 
Make it hotter. Keep it coming. The heat's rising, but we're not there yet. Give us some more, but not too much. We are not quite there yet. That's done it. Just a moment and I'll work on the core. We've done it. Very well done, comrade. Excellent work, oh my comrade. Together there is nothing we cannot do. We are well on our way, I can feel it. We'll have to tinker with it to see what... Stendar's grace, what's that noise? Fools! Do you truly think you could hide that trinket from the god of schemes? The people of Abagala serve me even in death. My devoted, kill them. Kill them and bring me the crystal. That blasphemy must not be allowed to be reforged. Bring that crystal to Cold Harbor. For the Lord of Brutality. Remember this day, mewing wretches. My followers serve me, even in death. Stendar shield us. The Earthforge overrun with undead. That was Molog Ball himself. Did you hear his voice? Made my blood run cold. That such an evil thing could be right here, in our midst. I do not know. Perhaps he somehow can track the core itself? If the Prince of Lies is planning to use the Vivicus once again, the prismatic weapon is a threat to his plots. No, not just yet. We came so close. Don't worry, though. I can complete the final steps on my own. This weapon will yet see the light of day, mark my words. The Mortum Vivicus will yet be destroyed. You have the right of it. I'll speak with the Provost Generals and post some guards. If undead can come boiling up out of the mountain at any time, there's no telling what might happen here. Yes, we should be going. We must find Seize All Colors and inform her what has happened here. Lead on, comrade. Stendar, are you all right, Aleph? What happened in there? How did these worms find the forge? We were finishing up when they appeared. They were after the crystal and tome. How did they know? How did they know about this place? Aleph does not know. Merrick, this whole thing is madness. She has us hunting Daedra, and now they come calling on our doorstep. Aleph, behind you! Aleph, Merrick, I do not rest easily. Dark Moons, Guildmaster Iceblade, what's happening? I was murdered, comrades. Seek my killer. Let me find Yuck, peace. Here, wait! Who killed you? Interesting. Very interesting. Aleph has her suspicions. Yafnir murdered? The whole guild will hear of this. And Aleph's suspicions. This is... unbelievable. 
Stendar's horn. We all thought the Guildmaster died in his sleep. I'm sorry, comrade. I knew Yafnir a long time. You're right. We need to report in. So much has happened. I think I'll let Aleph lead the way this time. Come. Yafnir murdered. Stendar, give us strength. Were you successful? Have you forged the weapon? We have more need of it now than ever, my friend. As you well saw. What has happened, comrade? I do not like the look on your face. Or the scowl Merrick bears. <sighs> the god of schemes himself has taken notice of our quest. We're all in murky water now, comrade, and the current grows swift. What? Yafnir murdered? This is dire news, comrade. The Council must be told straight away. There will have to be an investigation. Thank you for standing beside us, on this of all dark days. Merrick, Aleph, and I will confer with the Council of Provost Generals. We'll want to talk about the attack, and this revelation about Guildmaster Iceblade. We'll contact you again, when there's more to discuss. Until then, comrade. has need of you, comrade. You expect a hero to save the harbor again? There is an urgent task for you.
Ready to fight for the Dominion? The Guild requests your help. You know how long I've been looking for you. need of you, comrade. Comrade, a word. Do you know how long I've been looking for you? There is an urgent task for you. Welcome to the Council, oh my comrade. What I wouldn't give to be having this meeting in Skyrim. It's hot as dragon's breath in here. Ha! Aren't you a milk-drinking simpleton? Skyrim is littered with relics from the time of the dragons. Shrines, tombs... Trust me, comrade. 
Many are the lies and stories told to children. Dragons do not number among them. You look formidable, comrade. Perhaps one day you'd care to spar with Rezaim, yes? This one is the province general of elsewhere. She has earned the name Iron Ear and fights like a champion of Thizrini Arena. You'd do well to watch your tongue, my friend. By the divines, it's good to see you here. Flaminius Octor, province general of Cyrodiil, at your service. I've long had the privilege and honor of being the guild's arm at the heart of the Empire. How oh, I wish that was still the case. I'm sure you heard of the unrest in Cyrodiil. Three banners set upon the other. The sacking of the Imperial City, the death of the Imperial Line. My time with the guild has not been quiet. Peace be upon you, comrade. Good to see you at my little meeting. Yes, comrade. My meeting. I am the Countess Hakruba, daughter of Tigonus, Flower of the Sands, and Province General of High Rock. This meeting was called at my request, as I have the honor of leading the Council. The Guildmaster sets the goals of the Guild as a whole. The Council interprets her wishes at the Province level. As head of the Council, I resolve disputes and ensure we are working hand in gauntlet with the Guildmaster. You must be the one Merrick and Aleph have been talking about. Finally, we get some movement round here. By the green, I am uneasy. All this talk of death and magic. Give me something I can hit. I didn't become Province General of Valenwood through quiet meditation. I got this post through action. My comrade, I am very glad to see you again. This is the Council of Province Generals, they run the guild under the direction of the Guildmaster, and they're very concerned. I've been speaking to them about our experiences with the ghost of Yofnir and the attack on the Earthforge. We feel, the Council feels, that we need to further investigate Yofnir's death. You will be their eyes and ears with Aleph assisting you. She can explain in more detail when you speak to her. If anyone can get to the bottom of this, it's you and Aleph. She's gone outside to get some air. Stendar, guard your steps, my friend. I'm sure you've seen some of the Council as you've traveled across Tamriel. Each represents a former province of the Empire, managing business there for the Guildmaster. Stendar, give us strength. Just amazing to think of this as the full Council. Skyrim, High Rock, elsewhere, Valenwood, and Cyrodiil. Hardly the whole of the Empire. We've lost a number of generals over the last few years, and a few even quit after Yofnir died. <sighs> I wish I knew. I extend her Stendar's grace, but the Council isn't willing to do the same. She disappeared from quarters after the attack on the Forge. They've actually ordered the rank and file to search for her. No, I don't. But I'm one of the few. Aleph has already made up her mind as well. Not only does she think Colors ordered the attack, Aleph's convinced she murdered Yofnir. Damn it. I finished what I could on the weapon, and we repaired the damage from the Daedric attack on the Earthforge. The core remains unfinished, though, while we deal with these plots. Aleph reached out to members of the Mages Guild. They tried to summon his spirit, talk to him. They failed. Aleph says something is preventing him from talking to us. I don't know much of such things, but I'm sure she has the right of it. You have spoken to Merrick then, seen the Council. It is about time we acted. This one apologizes, comrade. She has been urging action for some time. Finally, to be able to... <clears throat> we have been tasked with investigating Yafnir's death, yes? We should begin. Yafnir kept a room nearby. Aleph gave instructions no one was to be allowed inside until we arrived. I shall keep watch here. 
enter Yafnir's quarters and search for something, anything to suggest a road to travel. Aleph knew she could trust you. Too many voices. All of the very important used to being heard. They want this mystery solved, and they want it solved now. They are used to combat, direct action. All this thinking hurts their heads. <laughs> Elif would have hoped you'd notice by now. This one loves to fight, loves the thrill of combat. But a thorny puzzle, a tricky lock, a track to follow in the woods? Just as much fun as a blade in a brawl. We found him in his quarters. The endless sleep. It was very sudden. But at the time we thought nothing of it. Yafnir was getting old. Sooner or later one of the faster blades would have made him sit down. None. And slow though he was, he never would have gone to... What was it? Yes, Sovngarde. He never would have gone to Sovngarde without a fight. Anything out of place, anything connected with a place or a person. We thought his death just the touch of chance, so we did not know to search. Anything might be a clue. What have you found? Interesting, interesting. Ragenthar is a dwarven ruin. Why would he... We must travel there, comrade. See if we can uncover more. Now Aleph is truly surprised. The Guildmaster had the magical prowess of a particularly slow horse. What was he doing at that ruin? Relics? Yafnir was no scribe. He was like most Nords this one has met. A Warhammer diplomat. The guild lost some contracts because of it, but the rank and file loved him. Good thought. Perhaps some in the guild hall saw him there. This one suggests you question our comrades at the trading post. Aleph will meet you nearby. She has some preparations to make. Meet Aleph on the outskirts of the trading post. We will journey to Ragenthar together. Looking to crack some Daedric skulls? I've got what you need. Yes, he actually visited a few times in the months before he died. Always came into town dirty and smelling like boots after a hard march. Never asked why. Didn't seem like a thing he was likely to tell me. Go carefully, comrade. Uncertain times in Tamriel. Only thing you can be sure of is a good weapon.
Nice to see you, comrade. Our numbers aren't what they used to be. Live by the sword and all that. Sure, I remember him here, but not his business. I think he spoke with Akita a few times. I wish he was still around. Be interested to hear what he thinks of this contract, knowing the Council's all torn up about it. Oh, you know. The Guild has always been about our short, simple contracts. One and done was the mantra a lot of the lads used. Now this long-term thing with the anchors? The coin's good, but it's a big change. Not everyone likes it, that's all. Welcome to the Hall, comrade. I bet you've got some good tales to tell of our war on the anchors. Sure, of course. Had me set out some supplies for him a few times. He said he was going out to Ragenthar, that weird old Dwemer ruin. I kept telling him the mages had already emptied it out, but he kept telling me he needed to go. Oh, studying it and such. Ragenthar is... weird. Unique, I guess you'd say. See, nobody really knows where it is. Physically, that is. It has an entrance near here, right? But the mages say stepping through the door is some kind of... Um, tempo. Temporospatial claudication. I think that's what they call it. Anyway, it means the ruins inside are all scooped out of time and space. There are entrances to the place all over Tamriel, but nobody knows where it really is. He said he was meeting someone. That he had to meet with them somewhere safe, that what they were talking about was very important. Guess that's why Yafnir went to the trouble of going to that weird old place. Welcome. This one is anxious to get moving. Aleph will lead the way to Ragenthar if you're ready. Here we go. Try to keep up, yes? Follow, comrade. This one cannot wait to taste the air in Ragenthar. Yofnir visits a remote Dwemer ruin just before his death. No coincidence. And now the guild openly opposes a Daedric prince. Risky, risky. To throw the guild against such power. Foolish. This one remembers when we fought goblins, bandits. Small contracts, one and done, yes? Almost there. Be on your guard. And here we are, Ragenthar. Welcome to Ragenthar. The barrier here is a relic of its builders. They did something very... Strange to this place. Ragenthar is twisted out of space. This entrance here will allow us in. But it is not really here, if that makes sense. Lucky for us, Aelif came prepared. She can bring the door into focus. Let us inside. In her travels, Aelif has learned little tricks and techniques. She has fought mages, Daedra, the undead, even werewolves. You don't hunt monsters as long as she has without learning a thing or two. This one will just be a moment. The sound of gears! Watch yourself!
An impressive tactic. Are you well, comrade? Did it harm you? A protective barrier. With something inside, Aleph can sense a great power here. Formidable. But this one knows a spell to negate it. Not without your assistance. Ale will subdue the crystals. You must destroy them. Your window will be short. The spell is taxing, and Aleph can only maintain it for so long. Be quick. Prepare yourself. Move your paws quickly. Now, destroy the crystals. Good. Now to examine the body. That did not sound good. It is a trap. Aleph is pleased to have you at her side. They are called Aurorans, a strange type of Daedra, I think. Aleph has only faced them once before. If she recalls correctly, they choose their allegiances carefully. Very curious that we would face them here. Let Aleph see. This is Yafnir's. His body here, but why? He was to be interred near his home in East March. Keeping us out, yes. But perhaps, perhaps also keeping him in. Elif has tried to have Yafnir summoned from Aetherius, and it has never worked. Perhaps now, Elif has an idea. Perhaps with the barrier down. We speak to him directly. This one knows how to reach out. Aleph can draw him to this place, so close to his body. What do you say? Are you ready to get some answers? You have seen the spirit of Yafnir, but always just for a moment. This one believes we can summon him, speak to him, learn who murdered him. Aleph told you she has power. Magical gifts, connections to lands beyond. She will use them to draw the spirit to this place. Then we shall see, yes? We begin. Aleph will start the ritual. Who summons me? Hush, spirit. Aleph will ask the question. What do you wish to know? I will tell you what I can. Aleph demands the name of your murderer. Who killed you, Yafnir? It was the Argonian. My subordinate sees all colors. This one knew it would be so. Be gone, spirit. Aleph is done with you. I have done as you asked. Release me to walk in Sovngarde. Go. Aleph will call for you again, soon. Sovngarde, indeed. You heard the Guildmaster. 
sees all colors. She murdered Yofnir. Perhaps for you, this one has suspected all along. The lizard was the one to become Guildmaster. The lizard was the one who set us on this crusade. Aleph smells something foul on the wind. Find Merrick and the Council. They are probably still in their mood at Volkwasen. They need to know about this, and they will heed your word. Aleph shall remain and search for more clues. What news do you have? I didn't even want to let myself think it. When she disappeared after your visit to the Aeliad Ruin. What is your proof, my friend? The Council will need solid evidence. Aleph did what? Stendar's breath, that's disgusting. I'll have to talk to her when she returns. But I suppose it did answer our concerns. Oblivion take lizards and cats both. Seize all colors will be found and thrown in a cell. Stay in touch, comrade. We will need you when the time comes. Until then. The guild requests your help. I have an urgent message for you. Aelith needs to speak to you immediately. I don't know what happened. She looks grim, so it can't have been good. You should find her as soon as possible. She's waiting for you at the Rollcar Guild Hall in Reaper's March. Good luck, comrade. Not as far as I know. Every member of the Guild received instructions to detain her if she sighted. I still... I still can't believe she killed Guildmaster Iceblade. Tribunal, protect us.
It is good Bera found you, comrade. The bright moons know Alef is glad to see you again. She would trust no one else for the task before us today. The Council has spoken. Seize all colors never return to the fold after your visit to Abagarlis. She has fled. She is guilty. She must be killed. I have an idea, but we must confer with Merrick. He's returned to the Earth Forge to finish work on the Prismatic Core. Aelif is ready to open a portal, take us straight to his side. Are you prepared? Seems like we were just here, yes? By forge and fire we prep for war! Ah, you hear Merrick there at the forge. He has already begun. With war in our eyes, we ready to die! This prismatic weapon could be a powerful force against Molag Ball, yes? With death in hand, we bear our blades! It is a difficult task we undertake today, to hunt a comrade. By Stendar's blade, we will settle the score! I'll begin the ritual. My friends, you came just in time. I'm almost done. My work here is nearly complete, comrade. The core will soon be a weapon once again. I believe so, oh my comrade. There's really only one way to find out. You will bear it into battle. The ultimate test will come against the Mortum Vivicus itself. No doubt Aleph has already told you of the Council's decision. The province generals have condemned Colors to death. She never returned to any of her quarters. She seems to be avoiding guild members. My friend... I don't know what to think. Aleph has a plan. Everything about what she proposed sickens me, but we are desperate. She believes Yafner can find colors, track her somehow, that they are linked. She also thinks... Bah! She thinks colors has turned on us. That she's gone over to the Prince of Lies. That if we can find her, we'll find the Vivicus. Enough! My friend, before you speak to her, I must ask of you a question. The one bright spot in the room, the prismatic weapon. I can forge it in any form you desire. Stendar himself speaks through my craftsmanship today. What will you wield? A great sword, a long sword, a staff, or a bow? A fine choice, oh my comrade. It will be done. Speak with Aleph and I will have a gift for you shortly. <laughs> Let us summon our old friend. He will know where his murderer hides. Damn it, Kat! Can't you let an old ghost be at peace? Not just yet, old Nord. Aleph has one more question for you. Where is she's all colors? Where does she hide? You know I cannot. I cannot tell you. He holds me bound. Tell Aleph, or she will show you what it means to be bound. Ah, she. Sought out the Mortum Vivicus. It's. it's in the halls of submission. Don't go, comrades. She's. Enough! Aleph is up to the challenge. But don't worry, Yapnir. She will let Molag Ball know how helpful you've been. The weapon is ready, comrade. Take it from the anvil and follow us into battle.
just a moment. Elef recognizes this set. Yes. These crystals control access to the room ahead. Comrade, focus on that first crystal. By the mace, it worked. Comrade, come to this crystal here. Merrick, you focus on the one by the door. I've got it. That's it. Merrick, you hold that beam. Aleph will use the last crystal to open the door. We are almost there. Just one more beam and we are through this door. Success! Let's go. Seize all colors must be close. Feels like the old days, Aleph. Let's get this done. must stop Aleph before it's too late. You what? No, my comrade. My friend. You have been deceived. I... I did. Comrade. I served the Daedric Prince Meridia. She blessed me with a sacred mission. I mobilized the Fighters Guild to defy Molag Bal. Yofnir would not listen to me. The Anchors were a danger to everyone on Tamriel. I received reports that cultists had begun harvesting souls for some kind of weapon. Yofnir would not listen. I had to act. My friend, I trust you, as does the Council. I put my fate in your hands. What would you have me say? The Prince of Lies is everywhere. He undermines Meridia's efforts, places whispers in our ears. I tried to explain it to Yofnir and Ragnthar, but he wouldn't listen. He refused to hear my words. Yes. Surely you have seen the darkness within Aleph. I didn't know, not for certain, but... I believe she serves the Lord of Lies, and consorts with his minions. I know I should have, but Merrick is a servant of Stendar. I feared he would react badly to my love of the Lady. As if she were like that foul schemer, Moloch Baal. You see it before you, the Mortum Vivicus. After our time in Abagarlis, I knew that stopping this monstrous creation must be my priority. The Lady sent me a vision. A dark path through oblivion. It's taken me all this time. Yes! Snatched from Tamriel just as the Aeliads were to destroy it. Lurking here all this time, like a caged beast, while Molag Baal fed it soul after soul, restoring it to unholy potency. A Daedric Prince, like Molag Bal, but totally unlike that cruel monster. Meridia is the Sunfire, enemy of the undead, beacon to all that live. An end to the dark plots of necromancers, the culling of cultists, and the death of Daedra. In short, she's offended by the God of Schemes. She will stop this weapon and crush his champions beneath her heel. Killer! Such lies she tells. Seize all colors killed Yafnir. She must die. You're no fool. We have fought together, side by side. The Council has decreed her death. Do what must be done, lest Aleph do it herself. The Lizard is here in Cold Harbor. This thing, this construct. It must be the Mortum Vivicus, comrade. We have caught her in her obvious lies. Though it is true Meridia is the prince of fools and weaklings. Perfect for that scale traitor. Damn it, colors. The province generals were very clear. But I've known her for so long. What will we do? I can't make this decision. 
Colors and I have fought side by side in some of the worst places on Nern. Whatever caused her to act this way? If she'd just spoken to me, made me understand. Stendar's blade. Truly, a Daedric prince. But then, Colors has led our charge against the Daedric anchors. She led the hunt for the Mortum Vivicus. She can't be all bad then, right? Comrade, I put my life in your hands. What is to be my fate? I know your decision will be just. What have you decided? Idiot! Must I do everything? In Mola Ball's name, die! Master's grace, I summon his bonds. May they power me with his wrath to crush my enemies. I can feel his power cursing through me. Minions of Molag Ball, hear my words and defeat the enemies of the mace. abomination, this Mortum Vivicus. Throw the weapon into the center of the construct. Molag Ball's dark plot will be at an end. Don't be afraid. I will keep you safe, my comrade. You did it. The traitor is dead, and Molag Ball's hold on Tamriel is weakened. You are wise, comrade. Wise and strong. Done it, comrade. I will light your way home. You've done well, my friend. The Mortum Vivicus is destroyed. It has been an honor to save the guild I served in life. Now the Council has assembled. You should speak to them. Unless Hakruba has changed a great deal since my death, she won't like to be kept waiting. Thank you for sparing my life, comrade, but my scales are dry with fear. I believe the Council is about to unspare me. 
She intimidates me as well, comrade. Do not worry. I'm sure Hakruba will treat us fairly. Stand up, make me truthful. Comrade, the Council has faith in you. I have faith in you. As does Stendar. What you did, you did for the good of the Guild and all of Tamriel. I know they will support your choice. Comrade, it is good to speak with you again. Beira told us of Aleph's plan to hunt seas all colors. I see that Merrick and the spirit of Yafnir Iceblade accompany you. Tell us, for all, and the eight to hear. What happened? Carrying out our sentence, punishment for her foul deed, and yet I notice that she still stands hale and whole. Why is this? Truly? Just? The murder of a brave and fair-handed leader was just? What words did she weave to convince you of this? I see. I know Meridia is an enemy of death across Tamriel. A light in the darkness, but still. Very well. We will deal with her in a moment. Where is the Khajiit Aleph? Yet more betrayal. I've known for years that her tongue was forked. But the Lord of Lies! You have cleansed an evil corruption from the guild, comrade. We owe you a debt of gratitude. You do not need to worry about Merrick. We have already reached our decision about him. However, seize all colors. Comrade, normally we would never allow a Daedric worshipper to remain close to the guild leadership, but... These are desperate times. It brings me some unease to admit, but I think you're right. And I believe I know just what service she can offer. If you will, comrade, attend me at my side. We have some matters to discuss. Seize all colors. Present yourself to the Council. The Council has decided we will honor the contract to fight the Daedra. Meridia continues to provide coin through her worldly servants. But we cannot allow a murderer to remain Guildmaster. I understand. We have decided to award you a new title. The Light of the Guild. You will advise the new Guildmaster in all matters relating to the Daedra for the rest of your days. Penance for the blood on your hands. Thank you, Countess. I will not let you down. You were dismissed. Merrick, present yourself to the Council. Merrick Ataswala, in light of your service to the Guild, in light of your sound judgment and brave heart, we cannot think of anyone more appropriate than you. You, Merrick, are to be the new Guildmaster of the Fighters Guild. It will be your responsibility to oversee completion of the contract established by Seize All Colors. Remain vigilant against the forces of Molag Bal. The guild is a shield, a bastion for the people of Timriel, where it will. You've been quiet, Merrick. What do you have to say about all this? I thank you, Council Members. I accept this position with honor and grace. I swear to my ancestors, I will not let you down. Now, Guildmaster, please see our friend out. We have much to discuss, and little time in which to plan. Comrade, we wish you well in your travels, and look forward to our next encounter. Come, comrade. You can't do much good hiding in this forge. Let's get you back into the fight. Comrade, it is... This great time of unrest within the Guild is at an end. You've done very well, comrade. I still live. The Countess spoke of my service as a punishment, but truly I am happy just to laze in the river's waters. Merrick will make an excellent Guildmaster, and I have you to thank for this, my friend.
Speak with me a moment, comrade. Who could have known we'd be standing here like this, my friend? You destroyed an artifact of the Prince of Lies, and I... I'm the new leader of the Fighters Guild. Stend our sweaty sword arm. I still have trouble understanding everything that's happened. Aleph dead, a minion of Molog Ball, and sees all colors. Did we do the right thing? Aye, you're right about that. But Aleph was my friend, comrade. I'd known her for... We used to joke, you know, about what we'd do if we led the guild. Without her, I don't know what I'm going to do. Do you have a favorite tavern? Ha! Right now, my friend, I will rest. What comes tomorrow comes then, and only Stendar knows what challenges we'll face. For now, I will talk to the Council, and plan for that tomorrow. Yes, actually. I'll make sure the way to the Earthforge remains open to you from now on. I've found that the gear forged here often has special qualities. You might find it to your liking. Good luck, my friend. This great time of unrest within the guild is at an end. You've done very well, comrade. I am bound for Sovngarde and the halls of Iskramor. But before I take my leave, I would make for you a gift. The prismatic weapon. I retrieved it from where it had fallen after the Mortum Vivicus was destroyed. You are a true hero of the guild, comrade. You deserve nothing less. What's more, consuming the Vivicus has unmade the weapon. It is once again in its primal form. I can return it to your hand in any shape you desire. What do you say, comrade? Comrade, I grow very tired. My time here on Tamriel has gone on far too long. I go now to join my ancestors. To feast in the halls of those gone by. I go knowing that the Fighter's Guild is in very good hands. It's good to see a strong man of Alakir leading the guild. May Tal Papa guide his judgment and the guild prosper forevermore. You should know. Not all of my people were like that snake, Aelith. We of elsewhere are the proud claws of the guild. We would never betray our comrades. Wemmer machinery is maddening. I'd love to repair some of it, but, well, they didn't leave a lot of instructions behind. Another day, another new guildmaster. First the lizard, now the red guard. I remember when there was a real council, and the guild was a force to be reckoned with. <clears> Hope <throat> oh, we return to that someday.
I wonder what Merrick is up to. What's he thinking about? If he's thinking of me. He's an impressive fellow, you know. But then, so are you. All the new faces in the forge since Merrick was made Guildmaster. It's a boon for us grunts on the ground to have a seasoned veteran at the top. I can't wait to see what changes he makes. It's good to see a strong man of Alakir. Do you know how long I've been looking for you? <laughs> <laughs> 